Welcome back. We are going to learn to sort some data in Minitab. So what I have here in my worksheet is that I went out and I wanted to measure the mean weight of seven-year-olds, of children on their seventh birthday. So I found a random sample of 33 seven-year-olds, children on their seventh birthday. You can only see the first seven here on the screen, but it could continue to go down. And each time I found somebody, I recorded their gender, their ethnicity, and their weight. I just did it in the order that I found the children. But ideally, it would be more convenient for me if I sorted the data so I had all the females together and all the males together. And then maybe even sorted it so that I had all the females together and males together, but then also had them within their ethnic groups within that. So we're going to learn to use Minitab to sort data. Now, this is about our data. And as I go up to my menus, I am going to go to my data menu. Data, and then I'm going to choose sort. I want to sort my data. So Minitab is going to say, ask me some questions in this dialog box. Sort columns. Which columns do I want sorted? Not what do I want them sorted by, but which ones do I want sorted? Well, I would like all three of them to be sorted. I want to keep them together. So I want to sort gender. I'll double click it. I want to sort ethnicity. I'll double click it. And I want to sort weight. I'll double click it. Now, what do I want to sort it by? For the moment, let's just sort it by gender. Let's get all the males together, all the females together. So I will say by column, and then I'm going to tell it what I want to sort by. I want to sort by gender. <clears throat> now, Minitab is going to do it alphabetically, so it's going to put the females first and the males second, which is fine. But if I wanted it the other way, I could click descending, and it would do it in reverse alphabetical order. Either one's fine. I also get to choose where I want it. Do I want Minitab to just leave my original worksheet alone and make a whole new worksheet? Or do I want to replace the original columns? Or do I want to make some new columns in the current worksheet? Let's make a new worksheet right now. So I'm going to say OK. Minitab puts a new worksheet on top of my other worksheet. Here, we'll just pick it up and move it up here so you can see more of it. There's the new worksheet. Everyone see worksheet 2? And it's got all the females. And if I started scrolling down, you'd see eventually I get to all the males. Excellent. So it sorted all females and then all males together. Great. I did all that work and I'm just going to hit the X and make it go away because now I want to sort it by both gender and by ethnicity. So I'm going to close that. It wants to know if I want to save it, which is very nice that it's warning me that you're about to get rid of something, Eric. No, I don't want to save it. That's all right. So now let's sort again. I'm going to go back to data, sort, and you'll see when it opens up the dialog box, it remembers what I did last time. That's great, because I still want these same three things to be sorted, gender, ethnicity, and weight in pounds. I want to sort it by two things. First, I want to sort it by gender. So I want all the females together, and then all the males. Then within the females, I want the ethnic groups sorted. So I want gender to come first, because that's the first thing I'm sorting by. And then I want to sort within the genders by ethnicity. So I'm going to click in this second box that says by column, and I'm going to double click ethnicity. Again, I could go in reverse alphabetical order if I'd rather, but I, that's fine. This time, let's, let's risk it all. Let's not make a new worksheet so I still have my original one. Let's just change the original columns. We're going to resort the original columns. And I say, OK. And you're going to see, look, there's the females first. And not only that, the African Americans, then the Asians, then the Caucasians. And if I keep scrolling, then the Hispanics. It did alphabetical order within the ethnicities. Then I get to the males, and I restart back at the A's. And I continue through alphabetical order. So I have sorted by both variables now.